What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? Long time no see. You know who it is? I'm back in the building, and I'm here, to, I'm here with the team over to the left, and we're doing... We're, Doing our usual, we're doing our one-two here. Today I want to talk about our, a certain topic that uh, interests some of my friends. Especially my friends down in Southern Florida, specifically the Miami area, well basically Florida. It's um, Raul Castro apologizes to Obama. There's there's a bigger picture here if, if, you, if you follow me. Uh, there was a summit or a meeting with a bunch of foreign leaders and Cuba got to come for the first time I guess in a while and when, when the Cuba was there and when he was there where old Castro apologized to Obama for inheriting a hostile relationship with Cuba um, it's I mean it's it's, it's, it's just Instead, instead, instead of Obama going to apologize and everywhere, Raul threw it in there and did it for him. But uh, there's a bigger picture. Excuse me, I'm doing two things. Like as usual, I'm doing 50 million things at once. I gotta close up the emails because I'm getting I'm on uh, auto autopilot over here. So let me close this up. But uh, Cuba and America is becoming. I mean, it's becoming a, a cool relationship all of a sudden. It's um. We're not, it's, the, the, the travel ban and the sending money has been laxed. You can go there if you have permission from the government. And the thing is, the bigger picture is sooner or later, and this is my feeling only, I can't say it's a definite, I think He's on the president or some or the next president or down the road somewhere, even Congress, somehow, they're gonna lift the ban on Cuba. That's why I'm going to fucking abandon when they do, but that's another topic for another day. But they're, I think they're gonna lift the ban because look at it this way. You got literally millions of Cubans living in America who send money home back to Cuba. You got literally billions of dollars of revenue that could like Cubans spend here in America. You got potentially billions of dollars Americans can do by exploiting, businessmen can do by exploiting the, look who Cuba does business with. They do business with Russia. They do business with China. I'm not saying there's something bad with that, but the quality of the, substand the standard of work compared to American labor, yes, I may joke about American labor, but still, American labor is in the top five in the world. You can't beat American labor. The only ones who can beat American labor, I'd say, are the uh, the Germans and the Japanese. And I work for, and I work for, I work for uh, both of them. The Germans, if they say two millimeters, they mean two millimeters. They don't mean it. It's not like it's like you know how in America, if they tell you to make something, like you'll say, give me a, uh, a nine sixteenths, makes a nine sixteenths. Well, if you happen to make it uh, five eighths, it might work. It'll work. You know, you have to rig it around. It'll work. But when the Germans say you make that two and a half millimeters, they literally mean you make that two and a half millimeters. And then, and like I said, I worked for the Germans. It, it was crazy. And then I, I got good working like that because that's how I am now. And the Japanese, my friends work for them, and they're just the same. And and when you think about it. Germans are still in a lot of their, uh, stole a lot of ideas from the Japanese. The Japanese stole a lot of ideas from the Germans. But that's going to be another topic for another video. Today we're talking about how you lift the embargo off of Cuba, you lift the travel ban, Cuba makes out, Cuba jumps now into the 21st century as far as money, this and that. I mean, Cuba could, could be, potentially be the next big thing in, in South America. Right now it's Brazil. If you look up a brick country, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not explaining the brick countries because you're supposed to look that up. Well, 
Cuba has the potential to be the next thing in South America. I know I'm going to Cuba. I expect, you know, I speak Spanish. It ain't the greatest, but you know, I, I can pull a few mamacitas. Can you know? But I'm just saying, when 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 uh, Castro apologized, what gets me is the hostility went both ways. We think about it because there was hostilities from there, and Cuba has shot down planes carrying American citizens. You know, it's just. The, the, I think where I always come to the realization is Cuba just can't do it alone and, and, and apparently Cuba's business partners aren't exactly who they want. Because let me put it this way, if the Russians and the, and the Chinese were um, great for them, why would they even mess with America and why would they hold steadfast to the, we got our own, we're good. You want to know why? Because they know the potential. Of, of this is business. Whatever you call, you guys think it's politics. It's strictly business. It's not personal. It is just strictly business. Cuba knows. Look, you don't think that there ain't a lot of people. I'm not the only one who's gonna go to Havana. A lot of you people don't go to Havana because the money. You're, you're more. It's more for your buck. It's a pretty city. Cuba's a pretty country. And the, I mean, it is what it is. It's politics. So this apology by Raul Castro to Obama, I think sooner or later, I think if Obama doesn't do it, I think Clinton's going to do it if she runs and gets the presidency. I think I think open borders for Cuba. I think it's going to be travel travel ban will be lifted, and a lot of and I'm going to go to Cuba and I'm going to have fun. So we got to watch out for this because like I said. I'll invest money in Cuba. I don't know about the rest of you guys, but I'll invest money in Cuba. Fuck it. I'll invest money where the people go. So, I'm out of here. Peace.